But, you know, listen, people are there's, asking there's, questions. There's, I'm just asking questions. There's more uh, scrutiny on the hot dog races than there is in any other major league so- sport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. here's the thing. 17, when it took him what? It was like mid-season before Mustard even won a race last year. Yeah, it was like almost to the end of the season. So come on, I mean, what he just had a really good off season. I don't buy it. I couldn't remember. Are you saying that he's uh, using performance enhancing drugs? It might be. I don't know what performance he's doing. enhancing buns. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was misremembering how poorly Mustard did last season. No, they did. Was right. it last season or the season before? I thought the season before it was when. Well, one of those two. I mean, Mustard not that known for excelling in those races. And that's why I'd always felt like punching down. No, I'm not a believer in punching down as a concept. I think it's silly. But. Um, How? What's that? How's that? It's silly. How, punching down? Yeah. Well, because you're telling someone else that they're below you. And I don't. I, I, okay. I don't so you were saying. saying that he's below okay. me. He's below ketchup. Well, what I'm saying is. Um, to assume that mustard couldn't excel at this level, I think that um, that tells us a lot about ourselves. Quite Nobody frankly. assumed it. Well, he, he proved it. You have fu mustard on the brain. Yeah. By the way, mustard out of those three, mustard the superior uh, addition to a hot dog, you onion and ketchup. Par done me. No. What are you out five? You no. So if you had to mustard. pick just one of those three, you would pick mustard. Yes. yes. Oh, not ketchup. I'm ketchup all the way, are you dude. you mental? No, Ke- no I again. am not. Well, you are getting Dr. I, Pepper in a baby bottle. So I that's... love Dr. Pepper. <laughs> That'll never change. I don't know if I eat. I mean, most of the time, I don't even go for ketchup on a hot dog. At all. It's At blasphemy, dude. All. Blasphemy. You guys, you guys are gross. You don't even understand. You don't even understand food. Alan, first of all, no one's taking any advice from what you think on food. I'm not telling first him to take all. my advice. We're talking first about what we have on hot dogs. I'm not telling him to take my advice. I'm not I telling like anybody three. to no, do. Not onion. Ketchup, mustard, relish is usually what I'll do on a hot dog. I don't dog. want onion breath. No thanks. No, no onion. Ketchup, mustard, relish. That's I'd, fine. I go That's mustard, fine. relish. Mustard, relish. Mustard, relish. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll throw ketchup on there just if I'm, but like most of the time, just yeah, mustard and relish is what I need. Pickle spear. I don't mind a little onion on there. Slice of tomato. You want the Chicago dog. <laughs> well. Which they're, they're very good. When I, like I can it. get one. Some celery salt. <laughs> celery salt. But mustard over ketchup, yes. And this is a guy with a raging sweet tooth. But ketchup, I mean, listen, ketchup is sweet. I understand why oh people like it and want go. it. Here but we go. What do you mean the here we on go? The planet, ketchup is just a little too sweet for me. I don't need all that added sugar. I don't need all that added sugar. I don't. No one does. No one. No one needs that. No one needs anything. No one needs a hot dog. I understand you prefer it, but I'm just saying. It's all unnecessary, Alan, because everyone's going <laughs> to die alone. By the way, okay? why are you Why are you so adamant in the pro-ketchup camp when we are just saying we think ketchup doesn't belong? You're so adamant. It's like you're trying to convince yourself, Mary. I'm not trying to convince myself. Are you trying to convince us I know how I feel. and hot I dog consumers? To yeah. That you're wrong. You're wrong. You know why the real reason, and it wasn't because he wanted to, we talked about this yesterday briefly, Wasn't uh, the real reason wasn't that he wanted to focus on his health and his well-being. You know the real reason why Kobayashi finally retired from um, major league eating? Why? Because too much ketchup involved. There was no ketchup involved. That and the dunking into the water. It's um, Yeah. Yeah. He's tired of just gulping down wet bread. I never, under, I guess that's to get it to go down easier, but why don't you just eat the hot dogs? Oh, just eat but, them. Why make them wet? Just eat them. Why is it uh, on speed? I mean, I would like to see people just eating hot dogs. You know, you check back on them. It doesn't have to be done in 10 minutes. You check back on him and you go, oh, this guy's had 15 hot dogs. And you go and do something else. And then at the end of it, you go, who had the most hot dogs? To me, part of the whole hot dog eating uh, con- uh, contest thing there is what makes it awful is dunking it in the water. You got to, because you have to practice that too. It's not like you just come out of nowhere and suck down a bunch of soggy dogs on July 4th on Coney Island. You're practicing like that. But 17 straight wins for mustard. And um, 
it uh, it couldn't. Now, fortunes may change. You know, they have before. I would go merely by the number of people on social media who seem to be really, really pleased with that result. There are a lot of people. Ketchup is the one that gets all the accolades because it's sweet. It's a condiment for children. Mustard, it's a bit more uh, nuanced. What you like is for children. What are you doing? Who, me? Yes. You drink Mountain Dew and eat high chews. <laughs> Come at me. I haven't had a I children. haven't had a high chew in six months. Oh, you're off it. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm 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 kind of off the candy. My, once my daughter started calling me a grown man who likes candy, I was like, well, okay, but uh, no, I'm I'm kind of I'm not on the ca- the candy, but okay, yeah, you're right, Mountain Dew. Now, I don't think children should be drinking Mountain Dew, so I reject that notion on principle. But you say you like stuff for kids. Um, but ketchup is for that's it's sweet. But the notion you seem aghast at the notion that people would prefer mustard over ketchup. I just think that you're that's a crazy way to live your life. If it works for you, then it works for you. Whatever, man. I can't control your taste buds, but mm-hmm. that's wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ellen, I agree with you and Bill. There is no ketchup, only mustard. There we go. Ketchup is a condiment of poor people, somebody said. Well, I don't Just know that. It's as expensive as mustard. I was going to say, I don't know that mustard is more expensive than ketchup. There are fancier kinds of mustard. Maybe that's why people think that it's so There's fancier uh, ketchups now, too. Are there? Oh, yeah. There's, there's all sorts of crazy ketchup bastardizations. Well, but they put sriracha in them, but I don't no, know. No, I mean, there's know. like bacon ketchup and all sorts of weird flavor. Bacon ketchup. ketchup. Oh, really? No. Hmm. Alan, I never learned how to tell if I was being hit on. Nobody was interested in me until my first year of college. That was kind of me, too. And one girl practically said, I request your boner. Well, how about that? See, that would be nice. Go. Let's kind of make it like, boner. yeah, old-timey. You know, you got to fill out a form and triplicate. Boner. What, Grandma? Boner. What? Boner. I miss you. And so, uh, yeah, it's hard to um, figure those things out. But congratulations uh, to Mustard. The best May Signal story is when Nicole Kidman went on Fallon to tell the story of how she went to his apartment a long time ago and he didn't realize that she was interested in him. I think I saw that. That was on, that was making the rounds a while back. Imagine an alternate universe in which Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise are done um, and she doesn't meet Keith Urban and Jimmy Fallon doesn't meet. Drew Barrymore, who would introduce him to his wife, Nancy Giovanni. Imagine uh, an alternate universe in which Nicole Kidman hits on Jimmy Fallon. That's and, a height difference. Huh? I said that's a large height difference. Between him and uh, Isn't he Keith like Urban. 5'8? Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think he's probably taller than that, but Keith oh. Urban is like 5'6 or something, isn't he? He's real well, short. And Nicole Kidman's like six foot, right? He's tall. Yeah. Alan, what 11. about mayonnaise on a hot dog? What? what? Listen, what bed. you can put whatever you want on there. I'm just saying that I think Mary's wrong in assuming that people are crazy if they don't want ketchup on a hot dog. I just think you're. Some people, uh, but mayo. But this, how is this on me? You keep saying I think you're. Well, it's because it's, it's about you. Everything's about you. It's no, it's really not. It's really mm-hmm. not. Who's sh- what's whose name is on the show? Yeah, mine. All right then. Yeah, you're right. You have to take all the blame. Yeah, I know. You're right. You're responsible you're right. for the you're good right. and the bad. When you're right, you're right. When good things happen, Alan did it. When you gotta bad take... things happen, Alan did it. Yeah, you got to take the rough with thing. the smooth. This I is know. A bad thing. It's the two sides of the same coin. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> I know. I got to give you some money here. It's $1,000. That could buy you the same amount of ketchup as mustard, I'd wager. 1000 bucks from the buzzard bookie. I hope you win. It's your last week to grab one of these keywords, so good luck. This is your chance to bet with the buzzard bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Fun. That's fun. Enter it now at WMMS.com. Alan Mustard is better because it brings relief to a myriad of ailments. Have you ever taken mustard? For when you weren't feeling well, if it's all no. I have, like no, seriously, like it's one of those things. It's it's 
if you have like heartburn or something and all you have is mustard. Oh, really? Yeah, it can help. I've never heard of this. I haven't. I either. made it up right now, so you should have. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Bill's got unground no, mustard seed in his kitchen. I've never. I've never. I was going to say it. mustard doesn't seem like a go-to for heartburn. Yeah. If you want to make your heartburn worse, uh huh. Then you just mainline some mustard. I mean, listen, um, mustard is an ancient seed. It's been around a long time. How long has the ketchup? How long has the ketchup seed been around? It's a grain. Oh, the ketchup Helen. grain. I'm sorry. Grow up. How long does a ketchup grain grows on trees or vines or bushes or how does that? It's a grain. It's a grain. The ketchup. Well, we've established stalks. that. I'm sorry. A stalk. Oh, a stalk. Oh, ketchup grain. It, yes. Can you grow it in just temperate climates or how does that? No, anywhere. That's, that's anywhere. So, so versatile. Wow. All right. You can grow it in Alaska. You can grow it in Texas. Yeah. Oh, so it's a hardy grain. It's a hardy That's what they grain. mean when you get those uh, bread. Because mm-hmm. I, I got a loaf of bread. I, I bought a thing of, um, uh, I was trying to take your guys' advice in the morning and eating some grains, right? Because I, I really don't want to eat, but if I'm if I'm going to work out, I need to. And so I bought bagel thins. Have you seen these? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, they're they basically, I, they call them that for marketing purposes, but I don't think that they have much in common with an actual bagel. Uh, they're kind of like real thinly sliced, and then I, I they're slap. They're to like a wrap. Uh, something. I mean, they're shaped like a bagel, and they're just sliced in half. It's very thin, So I and I slather them with like peanut butter and banana. But um, I can tell you that in the ingredients of this uh, multi-grain product, I did not see ketchup seed in there. It's a grain. I did not see ketchup grain in there. Jesus. Although I'll tell you what, you know, my mother's uh, family, my extended family in Illinois are rural people, a lot of farmers. And we wouldn't see them very often. But when I was a kid, I used to love on those rare occasions when we would go downstate to visit our extended family and to be among the ketchup stocks as mm-hmm. far as the eye could see. Yeah. I've got such fond memories of that. If you get really lucky and you the have air a good... smelled of vinegar and, and mm-hmm. you know it was, it was this cloying smell in the air, but it was very good. If you get real lucky and there's a, a large enough farm of ketchup stalks, then you can have a um, ketchup maze in October. It's very nice. Well, now you're just being ridiculous. No, 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 no. Hey, James. Yeah. What's going on? Not too much. Uh, just got out of the hospital. Eh? Oh, are you okay? What happened? Uh, I'm an alcoholic. I've been drinking for a long time. I ended up uh, uh, bleeding from my esophagus into my stomach. Ended up spending some time in intensive care. Jesus Christ. Uh, James, can you turn your radio down for me? Yes, sir. Thank you, man. I I don't want to hear myself uh, once, let alone twice. So, Are you okay now? Is this a regular thing? No, no. This was the first time... um, it happened, uh, and uh, I went through a um, uh, uh, substance uh, recovery program at the VA. Um, wow. I've got my social. Uh, I'm doing. What do you drink, James? What's your drink of choice? <laughs> Whiskey. Whiskey. Irish or Kentucky? Yeah. Irish. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, uh, uh, continued success, James. What can I do for you now? Uh, nothing, really. I just wanted to come in on the uh, hot dog. <laughs> James like, I'm just happy to be out of the hospital. I don't give a rat's ass what dumb crap you guys are talking about. I want to throw in. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, lay it on me. Uh, well, like I said, um, if you're going to eat chili dog, then uh, onions, ketchup, and uh, maybe cheese. Onions, ketchup, and cheese on a chili dog. See, I never put any. I, 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 when it came to those, I would use the John Mellencamp method, where I would just suck on my chili dogs, uh, and so you, you can't put anything on them because obviously, that gets uh, You'll choke. Yeah, very, very messy and. Uh, okay. All right. Listen, James. Take care of yourself. Okay. I will, buddy. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Nice. There's James. Um, a future that could have been for our own Mary Santora had she not committed herself to sobriety. Mm-hmm. Think about that. You could be calling us from the hospital with a, a hole burned into your esophagus. Not today. Not today, Satan. On a chili wow. dog, I have a very different opinion. Chili dog, I want... Now, this is going to really ruffle some feathers. <laughs> chili, cream. cheese... Sour cream. Not sour cream. Chili... Cheese, 
coleslaw. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, of course. That's of all great. Forever. It's like a, yeah. Now I'm not. I'm not. Well, there's uh, no conies out there, so you're. I know it's it, no pizza, no conies. There's nothing mm. I can get. <laughs> nothing. No. No good oh, food it's in this terrible. City. There's no hamburgers. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, coleslaw. Yeah, okay. That, there's nothing wrong with that. But I only like the coleslaw on a hot. Well, I can't say that because I've never had just had coleslaw on a regular hot dog. I've, but I love it the mix with chili, a little crunch, a little creamy, you know. Now, have you ever had a coleslaw with little bits of hot dog cut into it? Maybe I should try that. I'm, that's what I'm saying. That way, like a little coleslaw bowl. Yeah, yeah. You, you get the hot dog coleslaw bowl. You get the oh, same. Kind of uh, mixture, the same vibe, different ratio, but and I'd recommend uh, after you cut up the hot dog, just um, sear it in the pan a little bit. Yeah, a little oh, pan. You not pan fried cold. hot dog? Huh? This isn't a cold salad, a cold coleslaw hot dog. No, no, no. Where you just take it right out of the package. The coleslaw is cold. You uh, you put a little sear on the hot dog slices, and then oh. that goes into well, the cold I'm salad. I'm oh, out. really? No hot dog into the cold salad. I would need to take the hot dog directly from the package, cut it up with scissors into the cold coleslaw. Oh, you wouldn't even up. cook the hot dog. I mean, no. I know they're already cooked, but you you wouldn't heat them up. It's a cold salad. Wow. Yeah, okay. Maybe a little uh, seasoning salt. Hmm. Maybe some Ha-ha, paprika. Joke's on you, jokers. Now that Mary has put her $74 in that bonus hole game... I'm going to drive from Canton to New York City and win it all. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Yeah. Hey, uh, you hear that evil laugh he I had? I heard it. I heard it. He's going to go all the way there and he's going to extract the $74 that this audience gave you. They did. For bonus hole and he's going to win it all back. We're up to Man. so much. I haven't checked in like a day or two. Is it just sitting in your Venmo? People keep, and and they go, hey, next time, this is for next time you do bonus hole. This is probably, yeah, probably Sunday or Monday, depending on when I get the 10. All right, 5, 15, 20, 25, 35, 43, 44, 46, 51, 61, 62, 72, 77, 87, 87 dollars we're at for this week's bonus. Jesus. <laughs> we're going to be there so long. <laughs> That's where we're at. Currently, every day, one comes through. Two bucks, three bucks, seven bucks. Yep. Yeah, good for you. Well, we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. This is when I'm like, guys, this is stupid. I feel like I should cap it at 50 bucks. Uh, you can. Yeah. That's. 87 dollars. <laughs> and it's, it's not so even dumb. the day yet. You no, still, you still there's still more. five days. And also, I I have to see what the situation is because if they didn't restock it with watches and gold and then what's the point even? Right. <laughs> Dablo- yeah, you got to check on the doubloons that are in there. Um, do you tell people, hey, next time is this? You give them a date or um, you just kind of... You- usually a couple days out. Yeah. So I knew that I was going to do laundry Sunday because it was the only time I had free for the you know, week or whatever. Um, this time, I'll probably, I don't know. I don't know when I'll do laundry. Wow. We'll see. That's pretty but exciting. I, I try to give them a, a heads up of a couple days, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So we'll see how it goes. I, I'm going to have to watch one of these coming up when you do it. Dude, tune in, man. Yeah. Enthralling. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Alan starts Venmoing me all his money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go back. Go hey, here's five hundred dollars. <laughs> what are you doing bonus hole next? Dude, I looked it up online. I can buy a bonus hole game for a grand. Oh God, so many people were sending me, hey, send this to Mary, send this to Mary. But we had kind of talked about it uh, on the air that you could get your own. I, the yeah. one that I saw was like fifteen thousand dollars. Oh no. They're like five hundred bucks for the game, but then it's like another five hundred dollars for shipping because the the website I saw they have to. And come you got to fill it with China. coins, right? But I'm right. saying if it's a thousand, I've already gotten almost what a hundred and sixty bucks from people in two weeks, where I'm like, if I spend a thousand dollars on this, and then we ve- just like, make that your career, <laughs> like make my yeah make my career on puzzle. No, but like it's a good investment. I don't know how I could maybe if um, it's a good investment. But how much? So that's a bit of a leap. But what's the set? So you put seventy four dollars in there. Uh huh. But they can't go and take that out. Who? The people that have the machine. Why wouldn't they? 
Because doesn't it go into the pot? No. Well, they have... Um, they can take out anything. They yeah, open a they, How do you they think own the, the machine. There's bills. There's twenty dollar bills and watches. How do you think the wa- they don't come with the machine? Right, but I mean, you put seventy four dollars in there, and it like the stack stays about the same. Like, are they counting? They're like, okay, we know we made a bunch of money this week. Probably. I have no idea. I have no idea how it works. I'm yeah. assuming there's a couple different areas where the coins go because I didn't filter through. Seventy four dollars never came back to me. Right. So yes, yeah, some of it stays in the. Um, machine. Some of it goes into the bonus hole. Some of it, I don't know if there's a secret compartment where it might also go, where they just keep that money. I have there's, no idea. They're skimming off the top of bonus hole. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's worth looking into. But if I spend a thousand dollars on my own, then do it. Then I can load it up with my money, and then people. That's what we'll do. This is the new plan. Are you just gonna then, walk around with it? it like put no, it on. A, it's like the size of a vending machine. Right, you put it on a dolly. No. And then you wander around, you bring a battery so you can No. It'll be it in up. my apartment. <laughs> so you're and then invite people over to She's your got apartment. a hand truck everywhere she goes. I'm going to invest my own money into it, right? So, and then you can say you Venmo me $50 and you say this is for bonus hole. I'll FaceTime you. I'll put your $50 in and then whatever you win from your 50, I'll Venmo you back. Can you just go get famous as a comedian? Wow, all of this is—it's very confusing. I'm just saying. I'm trying to—I'm trying to this follow along, but it's yeah. Because then, if they only get twenty-eight dollars back, I just made twenty-two dollars yeah. on their bonus hole. Well, it's definitely one of the more unique side hustles I've ever heard. It could—it could work. Is all it, it could work. It could all work. Bonus holio. <laughs> I need <laughs> TP for my bungle. <laughs> Ah, I got a break. If you uh, want to send a text for anything, 35192. AlanCoxShow.com is where you'll see the pictures, and we'll be right back. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app. This weekend, the buzzer.